Today's video is gonna be another thrift store challenge, but this time it's going to be all about the gifts. So we've gone to Pottery Barn, West Elm, Anthropology, and Crate and Barrel, and now it is time to combine everything together to make some really beautiful high-end gifts that anyone would love. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start this video off with wooden bowls. It didn't matter which high-end retailer I was shopping in, they all had a variation of wooden bowls in various shapes and sizes, but I personally have created a really nice collection of thrifted wooden bowls that I shared over in the West Elm Dupes video. But my most recent find was this sweet little wooden bowl originally from Target, but at the Goodwill was just $3. And because I already have a wooden bowl that is similar to this size, I'm actually going to gift this to someone and while I was at Pottery Barn, I noticed they had a lot of succulents and air plants inside of different ceramics and wooden bowls, and I thought this would be a fun gift idea. Pair it with a plant mister and a watering can, and I think it's a really high-end look on a budget. the next thrifted gift idea, I think gifting someone a tray is always a nice option, but at high-end stores, they're oftentimes pretty expensive. So I do like to go to the thrift store and see what I can come up with. For example, I found this really beautiful, almost like pinstriped blue and white tray, and then you can just layer things inside of this. For example, I found this olive tree, weirdly enough at Aldi's, for $3.79. I found this Pier One candle for just two bucks, and then this coffee table book for $1.50. So for under $10, you have a coordinated and polished gift idea. But I have really been eyeing this bath tray from West Elm and it is $210. One thing I do have is a lot of scrap wood in my garage and I know some of you are definitely in a similar situation. So I thought, why don't I just combine some of these pieces of scrap wood? I'll cut them down to the appropriate size for my bathtub and we're gonna just try to DIY this. The first thing I did was I just took some quick measurements of my bathtub because it's a bit larger than your standard bathtub and then I applied those measurements to those scrap pieces of wood and then taking my miter saw I'm just going to trim those down to the appropriate size so everything is going to be nice and flush. With all of the pieces cut and sanded down to the appropriate size, I grabbed some clamps and I put them on either side of this tray so that way everything would stay nice and put before I attach the additional scrap piece of wood. So I found this one also in my garage. I cut off two sections so I would be able to screw these down so that the top three pieces would stay put together. So I just kind of eyeballed this and I wanted to see kind of how it would lay in my specific bathtub. So I think if you're gifting this to someone, might not be the worst idea to know what kind of bathtub they have just to make sure it'll fit well. But before I screw those pieces down, I'm actually going to add some tight bond wood glue and I'm also going to clamp that down just to make sure everything stays nice and put before I screw these pieces together. It's always a good idea to pre-drill a small hole so that way your wood doesn't snap. After everything is essentially assembled, I decided to stain mine. So I'm going to add some pre-stain to this wood piece first and then I'm going to go in with some gel stain. So I just usually apply my stain with a foam brush or a paper towel. I don't use anything fancy. I ended up doing one coat of the gel stain in the color coffee and then I sealed it with some poly acrylic and this was the end result. I think this would make an awesome gift if you wanted to combine it with some bath oil or some sugar scrub or something like that I think would be a really sweet gift. But if you're not one for DIYing, this next tip is definitely for you. At least get your seasonal cards at the thrift store because you can find really beautiful cards that will literally be so much more affordable than anywhere else. I know people say Dollar Tree, but at my specific thrift store, all of the cards are just 30 cents. If you happen to watch my Pottery Barn Christmas dupes video, you might remember seeing these ornament shaped candles and I love them so much. They're so beautiful, but they're $59, which is a lot of money to spend on a very temporary piece of decor. So when I came across these at the thrift store, they were each just $2. After cleaning out the inside, I melted down two Dollar Tree candles and I stole the wick from one of those candles, applied a small dab of wax to the bottom and placed it in the middle. And then I'm going to pour in the remainder of the wax from each of these candles. Once the wax had hardened, I just snipped off the remainder of the wick that we wouldn't be needing. And I think for just about $4.50, I have a really similar look on a budget. $4.50 
for the next thrifted gift idea, something that I want you guys to keep your eyes out for at the thrift store during this holiday season before you spend all of your hard earned money on Black Friday sales thinking you're getting the best deal, but you can actually get an even better deal by shopping at the thrift store. So for example, I found this brand new with tags, Lulu's dress. They still sell it on the site. It's $68 on their website right now. Normally at this Goodwill, all of the dresses are $7.49 unless otherwise marked, but this has a black tag on it and it happened to be a black tag day, which made this dress under $4. It's a little long on me, but my sister is a little bit taller than me, so I think I'm going to gift this to her for Christmas. If you happen to watch my Crate and Barrel Dupes video, you'll know that I talked a little bit about all of the really nice options they have for just decorative storage, but you can also find those same sorts of things at the thrift store for an oftentimes much more affordable price point. I found this really great canister for just a dollar and that really snowballed this whole idea to give somebody dinner in a basket. To start this dinner in a basket gift idea, this basket was actually free from one of my neighbors and I wanted to add something on the inside for all of the items to sit on top of and if you watched my pottery barn dupes video you'll know that i found this plaid blanket for just three dollars next we'll be adding in our pasta in our glass container a re-gifted bottle of wine some herbs in a thrifted planter some bread from the grocery store as well as some nice cheese and to finish it off don't forget to check out your thrift store for those unused kitchen gadgets for example i found this wine opener for just two dollars and i think it totally fits in with this dinner in a basket theme looks really high-end but definitely on a budget it totally might just be me but I feel like nothing is better than a really good thrifted basket because you can find really unique and beautiful baskets for such an affordable price point for example I came across this woven caddy and I thought this was just an interesting sort of basket I've never seen one like this before and immediately I thought this will be perfect for Christmas and the holiday season so you could stick a bottle of red and a bottle of white in each of the slots and then gift it with a really beautiful kitchen towel you might remember when and I found this really beautiful unused kitchen towel at the thrift store for just two dollars and I'm basically just going to fold it into a rectangled shape hiding those tassels so it's going to almost make like a bow on the front of this basket tying it around the basket with the additional ribbon and I think this would make a really fun hostess gift or a really fun Christmas gift in general Another item I would suggest keeping your eyes out for this holiday season for a really fun gift idea are some glass jars that have not been used. I came across this one at the Goodwill for just $2. Another idea I had for that little woven basket is to make like an oil and vinegar set. So I only found one of these at the Goodwill, but they do still sell it at Ikea and it is really affordable. So William Sonoma does this oil and vinegar combination, but it's really expensive. So I thought we could try to come up with something for a whole lot less. So I'm actually just going to take some Aldi's olive oil and I'm going to infuse some rosemary just to give it that little extra punch. Again, you could add this into that dinner in a basket or give it alone, but I think makes a really sweet and thoughtful gift. Another item you should be looking out for this holiday season are boxes at your thrift store. So I came across this really beautiful Burlwood box for just $2 at my local thrift store, and it serves as a great vessel to give a really beautiful gift inside. So for my dad, I'm going to gift him this Burlwood box, fill it with his favorite cologne and favorite chocolates, and I think it's a really beautiful presentation of a gift, but then he can use it even after. As I've been perusing through all of these high-end stores like Pottery Barn and West Elm, I think the thing that most takes me back is the price of the picture frames because they are so expensive. And something you can always find for such an affordable price at your thrift stores are picture frames. And even if there's a picture inside of it, you can go ahead and take that picture out and insert whatever picture you want instead. I think it makes a really nice gift idea. 
Another thing you should be keeping your eyes out for at your local thrift stores are wrapping paper. I was perusing through Pottery Barn's website and they make these wrapping packs. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot inside of those packs and it's really expensive. So especially right now, as people are gearing up towards the holiday season and they're buying presents and they're wrapping presents, you can find really beautiful and aesthetic wrapping paper. I found this roll for just 30 cents and it looks so similar to the one from Pottery Barn, but definitely on a budget along with wrapping paper are gift boxes. Gift boxes can also be really expensive. So I came across this gift box and I thought just the big gift box was 30 cents, but all of the boxes inside of it were all, just everything was 30 cents and I could not believe that price point. That was probably the thing that took me back the most. Now I have absolutely no idea where these boxes are originally from, but I know that wherever they were from, they were definitely not only 30 cents for a set of three of these boxes. Another thing you should definitely be looking out for are books. When I was in anthropology, they had a really beautiful coffee table book selection, but it's also pretty expensive. So I do like to at least look through the book section because every now and then you can find some really beautiful books that the person you could be gifting would be really interested in having. I ended up finding this book previously and I think my sister would really enjoy it. So to add to this gift, I'm actually going to make some little bookmarks to go with it. So I grabbed a thrifted belt for just a few dollars as well as some push earrings for just a dollar. To make these leather bookmarks, I'm going to start by just cutting them down into equal sections, and then I'm actually gonna give two for her and one for my husband. So the ones for her, I found these little earrings. They're just like push pin earrings. They don't actually go in your ear. And I'm just going to trim off the excess that I won't be needing at the top there, and I'm going to add a small amount of hot glue to attach these little earrings to the top of this bookmark. And then for the one for my husband, I included one of the holes at the top there that the belt had already inside of it, added some suede ribbon just to give it a more masculine feel, tied off a knot at the top and removed the excess. A book and a bookmark is always a really traditional and thoughtful gift idea. And I definitely recommend going to your thrift store and seeing what you can come up with. The next thing you should be keeping your eyes out for when you're shopping at the thrift store are glassware sets. Anthropology had beautiful glassware, probably some of the most beautiful glassware I saw when I was out shopping, but you can also find really beautiful glassware at the thrift store that has never been opened, never been used, and definitely so much more budget friendly. Another thrifted gift idea is to gift somebody ornaments. And I did a whole video on DIY ornaments inspired by high-end retailers. So I will link that video in the description box below. But if you don't have the time right now to DIY ornaments for somebody, you can always find ornaments that have never been used, ready to go to gift to someone in your family. Because my mom has three grandkids, I thought this would make a really nice gift for her. I'm gonna place a picture of each one of her grandchildren in one of these frames, and it's a really nice and thoughtful gift that I know she will love. And last, but certainly not least, don't forget to peruse through your gift accessories. So your bows, your ribbon, your tape, anything that is involved with wrapping a really beautiful gift, consider looking at your thrift store first because oftentimes you can find really good things there. So I found that whole bag of red ribbon. I've shown you guys how I made this Dollar Tree bow pillow. Also, I made a bell wreath that I used the ribbon from that to hang from the door. I took another section of that ribbon and displayed some holiday cards. And then again, even in this video, I continued to use that bow for some gift wrapping ideas. That whole bag of ribbon only cost me $1 and I still have some left over. And that about wraps it up for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Tell me down in the comments which DIY gift idea or thrifted gift idea was your favorite. And I will see you guys next week. I hope everyone has an amazing holiday season. Bye for now.